Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today's video we're going to be continuing working on Scania, on this Scania 2017 Scania, which you've prob probably have seen it before, you've seen a cab, what's over there. And as a continue of the video, the chassis is back from chassislimen.co.uk and it's pretty perfect, as always, nice and straight. We already painted it yesterday and today I'm going to try to build it up as much as I can because well, I keep saying about my holiday but I'm actually going in a couple of days actually going so I'll try to do as much as I can to this to put the engine in we've got an engine we've got a few bits swap on the engine and we're going to try to build as much as I can be nice to put a car on before I go away but I'll try my best and it's actually we've got a fan blowing of the heater it's actually hottest day on record Yesterday was 36, today is supposed to be 41. It's already about 29 in the workshop and it's only 9 o'clock in the morning. So it's going to be struggle today, but we have to do what we can. So let's crack on with it. Okay guys, I did the film. I've got a couple of brackets and a few bits on the chassis there because I actually looked in my phone. I was looking every so often in my phone because when you're stripping thing like this I take lots of pictures in a short video so I know where, where everything goes so I was looking in there and I had all the old brackets and they all outside swapping the bits from them every boat and the nuts and all the studs and all that kind of stuff with it but now I've got pretty much everything ready to bring this wiring round I'm gonna try to get this wiring put it around there because that wiring <coughs> goes all the way around the bottom on that and on this side and goes into the brakes as well so I need to get this wiring over now get it sorted then we probably be nearly close to get this engine back in so let's do it
Right guys, it's actually the next day here. Jason's here today. Give us a hand, put this engine in and build it all up. Yesterday you've seen me putting all this wiring all the way around everywhere. It's so beyond this is a nightmare and it's so heavy and so much of it. Comparing to the Merc what I just did, the Merc was just like piece of piece, but this one is just ridiculously a lot of wiring there. And Today is a bit, bit better day, a bit cooler, about 29, but yesterday, guys, it was 40 degrees. I mean, this chassis, when I touched that chassis, it just felt like you just got it out the oven. And I also put these batteries in this morning and a few brackets on the tank. I think when the Jason's here, we're going to just crack on. I, that fifth wheel is on. I'm going to tighten it all up and go from the back, build everything up, all the exhaust tanks, and we're going to lift it up later and get some uh, prop on, plug it underneath what we after and ideally we want the rads we still wait for the intercooler so we want to build the rad up and all that before we put the cab on but and oh, we still wait for the few brackets for the cab anyway so we have to probably wait but like i said i'm off in a, two days now so I'll try to do as much as i can before i go away so the guys don't struggle so let's crack on with it Ice cream. Time for ice cream.
Right guys, uh, we lift her up, prop is on, Jason is just about to torque up the bolts for the prop. And as soon as that's done, we're pretty much nearly done on there. Jason, what do you think? Yeah, we should be. Should, should be done. Yeah, the prop is just torque them bolts up and we torque the U-bolt and everything what we could see, torque them up, drop it down and only tank left to put on basically on the chassis and chassis is pretty much nearly done right guys we are pretty much done on this we build it all up pretty much ready for the cap to go on tanks on fifth wheel all the pipes on the top engine as you saw uh, we're still missing the intercooler which ideally before we put a cap on intercooler needs to go on we've got a rad we've got a rad brand new on there but we still wait for intercooler and this cap bar just arrived so I was hoping before I go because it's Friday today I think you're gonna see this video when I come back from me three weeks holiday and obviously I don't know how much this truck's gonna be left in here is it gonna be finished is the guys gonna finish it or something like that so it's hard really I probably have to leave it there and Yes, I was hoping to put, put this cab on today, but ideally you need the rads in. But before the rad, we need this pipe. The heater pipe is, it has got, got a hole in there. And I've ordered a couple of night heater pipes, which bolted down there behind the intercooler and radiator. So that's the ideal. So we probably have to wait for the next week for boys to crack on with it. And hopefully when I get back, it'll still be here for a little bit of bits. Well, hope not, but you never know we've been waiting for some bits for about a week or two so hard to tell how quick they're gonna get it and I actually have the footage of uh, Dave from chassislyman.co.uk how they was doing this chassis a bit so I'm gonna include it in there and if if that's gonna be it guys if if I come back and this truck gonna be gone that's gonna be that's going to be it for for the video and fixing this truck because obviously no one here will be filming it apart of me if i'm going to get back and the truck be here i'm going to continue filming
Right guys, I'm back. After three weeks off, I had a nice, lovely holiday. The weather was good. And obviously, as you can see, this scan is pretty much nearly done. The boys did great with it. Put the cap on and new rads and because I left it with the rad on. I'm just gonna build it all up, the rest of it, and pretty much ready. So, let's do it. guys we're all done on this one as you can see pretty much complete we still got a deco to put on there but and some of you probably know or wondering how how much or how long does it take I can take tell, tell you the job like this is between 150 and 200 hours and with the money but to be honest I don't know yet but like I said I wasn't here for the last three weeks Jason was here Jason you're supposed to film, do you? Yeah, I was going to, but then I didn't. <laughs> yeah, Jason was supposed to film and cover me when I... Well, I was off for three weeks, having a good time there. But as you can see, Jason put it all nearly back together because I, when I left it, the rat wasn't there. No. You, you were still waiting for the beat. Yeah, steering pipes. Was Probably steering for. pipes, yeah. There was lots of parts we was waiting for in a long time. So you put the carb on and Everything went all right, didn't it? I actually yes. went for the road test earlier. Everything's fine, pretty much ready to decal up and have to go to Scania because that sensor, there's a sensor in the front there, wants uh, setting up, resetting or something like that. So Jason's supposed to film it, but he never did, but never mind. But we're actually doing, I'll show you guys the job, what we're doing next. We actually, uh, taking this MIN apart, Jason actually is doing it. It's been hit in the front here, in that corner. You can pretty much see that's pretty much bent, and that door is pushed back. There's a few creases in the chassis, chassis leg, and that floor. And we're going to take this cab off of that MIN. Jason is stripping everything, electrics and all that. We're going to take this cab off, Jason. Yeah, put it on the yes. jig. Yep. Put, on the, put it on the jig and we go from there and that's probably going to be the next video what you're going to see guys so thank you guys for watching I'll see you on the next one